Chambersburg is the county seat of Franklin County in South Central Pennsylvania. We're about an hour and a half from Washington, D.C., about an hour from Baltimore, Maryland. We have about 21,000 residents. We're one of the fastest growing communities in Pennsylvania. So Chambersburg is very unique in many ways. One of the most unique ways is that we own and operate all of our own utilities, the municipality itself. In the state of Pennsylvania, we're one of 35 electric utilities. However, we're the only electric utility that generates any power. We're also one of two gas utilities, the other one being Philadelphia. As far as on a national uh, view or a national scene, it would make it, we're one of 2,000 uh, communities that operate an electric utility, and we're one of 800 that operate the uh, gas utility. There's only about 50 communities in the United States that operate both gas and electric. Chambersburg is the only municipal electric in Pennsylvania to own and operate its own generation plants. We make electricity in Chambersburg. The Borough of Chambersburg is a not-for-profit electric utility, and it's owned and operated and financed by the customers. There's a, about 11,300 customers in the Borough of Chambersburg, and they are, you would consider, the share owners of this electric utility. Chambersburg Electric sells power to the, the electric grid that ranges from Chicago to New York City, and those revenues come back to the share owners or the customers in Chambersburg Borough to help reduce the, the electric rates. At TB Woods, we make iron shivs and couplings to drive industrial equipment. For 159 years, we've been located in Chambersburg and benefited from the services and utilities that they provide to us. Every month we use over a million kilowatt hours to melt the iron in our foundry for our products as well as another million kilowatt hours for powering the machine shop, warehouse and offices. The Chambersburg electric department rates have consistently been lower than available market rates. The borough uh, of Chambersburg electric department provide uh, expertise to work with our people to provide a uh, lower cost and to make TB Woods more profitable. At Chambersburg Hospital is an award-winning 258-bed hospital. Electricity is important to Chambersburg Hospital for patient care. Um, we use it for everything from air conditioning clear to the other end of the spectrum for life support. During our expansion project, um, we had to relocate the electrical service. The borough was instrumental in, in doing so, and now we have a dedicated line from the hospital straight to the borough substation. Chambersburg has submitted and acquired an RP3 award through the American Public Power Association. That's a reliable public power provider and it is safety, personnel development, system development, and reliability. We are one of the only communities that has a trash to electricity generation station. Chambersburg's local landfill takes methane gas from the landfill and converts it into clean, safe, recycled electricity for the community. The Blue Ridge Landfill Gas to Energy Plant is a project in which we capture the methane that's generated from the Blue Ridge Landfill and we generate 6.4 megawatts of power and deliver it to the Borough of Chambersburg. The landfill is built with a collection system, so after the waste is uh, dumped into the landfill, it's covered. Uh, the decomposition of the waste creates methane gas, which we collect through a vacuum system. Uh, that system then cleans it, compresses it, and allows us to run our engines off and generate electricity. The four-mile transmission line is a combination of overhead and underground lines uh, that connect our power plant to the borough of Chambersburg. It's kind of what made this project possible. You know, landfills are generally located in rural areas, so it was a necessary step to connect our plant to the, uh, the borough of Chambersburg to provide them power. We're very excited about this project. It was a partnership between Energy Power Partners, uh, the Blue Ridge Landfill, and the borough of Chambersburg. Uh, and it, in fact, won the EPA's Landfill Methane Outreach Program, Project of the Year in 2013. We are the only municipality in Pennsylvania to own and operate an electric system and a natural gas system. So we provide electricity and natural gas to our residents and businesses. There are actually a thousand municipal gas systems across the country. But in Pennsylvania, there's only two. Philadelphia, which is really large, and Chambersburg. 
We run a very efficient operation and train and certify all of our employees in all the different tasks that we do, whether it's field operations or, or maintenance, safety work, and that enables us to have just about all of our work done in-house instead of contracting it out and enables us to save a lot of money that we can pass on to our customers. We're very proud of the fact that in Chambersburg we have the lowest priced gas for our residents of any system in the state of Pennsylvania. And that's a big help for people moving in. It's also a big help for businesses to be able to, to run efficiently and have low costs to help them to be more productive and, and more efficient in their operations. We own and operate our own water system. We provide water not only to ourselves, but our neighboring communities. We own and operate a sanitary sewer utility as well as a storm sewer utility. Stormwater is an important natural resource that if managed properly can enhance groundwater recharge and water quality. Chambersburg is managing stormwater to protect the environment through a storm sewer system that is comprised of many miles of pipes. That system is regulated through a municipal separate storm sewer system permit, also known as an MS4 permit, that is issued by the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. Over the past 10 years, the Gateway Avenue and Norland Avenue commercial areas have been developed with shopping centers, restaurants, and offices to comply with our local stormwater management code to enhance groundwater recharge and water quality. So as we've grown, we've tried to manage that growth. We have a commitment to our historic downtown, but we also have our shopping center areas, our beautiful neighborhoods. We try to use the utilities as economic development, try to encourage businesses to move to Chambersburg, take advantage of those utilities, and also provide that low cost of living for our citizens so that um, we can continue to grow in Chambersburg. Because of that, we recommend that other municipalities learn to use their utilities as an economic development tool to help grow their communities.